Hey, so if you can see by what I'm wearing, I'm in the hospital. Something happened last night. Look at that. <laughs> the other night, it was technically the 28th because it was past midnight, but Monday night the 27th, but again, past midnight at 1.30. Um, well, I had a really hard time in general trying to fall asleep and I just kept feeling like kind of, I don't know, different, like more pains in my stomach, um, just couldn't get comfortable, something just weird. And then I finally fell asleep for an hour and at 1.30 I woke up and yeah, I was completely wet, my water broke. Still wasn't 100% sure because, you know, never been pregnant before and he was not due until august 2nd so like a week away basically a little less than a week it kept coming out so called the doctor went in and i was starting contractions and labor we got into the hospital at like three in the morning and he was then born so that was 3 a.m. and then he ended up being born at 4.35. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. So we were there for like 15 hours, so that's not too bad. Um, I only ended up pushing for 45 minutes. So, yeah, the pains did get really bad um, after a while, so I did have an epidural. After that, it wasn't that bad, because when I went in, I was three centimeters dilated. But then I wasn't like going super fast, but I was definitely having like consistent contractions so they gave me the one thing um i forgot what it's called but it starts with a p but like it helps like kind of like it's i think they give it to people when they induce labor and then it's supposed to help get more contractions so i got that and then the contractions started coming more and more but i actually didn't feel them because of the epidural and then eventually he came <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I Then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever Oh my sweet baby It is right now the next day He likes to sleep a lot in between feedings, we actually have to feed him again. Are you getting up? You gotta get up to eat, little guy. Look at his hair. <laughs> Look at that fuzzy hair. <laughs> you should style it, give him a mohawk or something. Yeah. When he was coming out, um, the nurse and Tim were like, oh, he's got a lot of hair. And I'm like, what color hair? What color hair? And they wouldn't tell me. And I was upset. <laughs> I was saying, telling her it was coming out green, every color under the sun. Like, you know, just, just to get her, uh, get her uh, a ruse out of her or something, you know, so. Yeah, because I obviously couldn't see him yet. And they're like, oh, we see his head. We see him starting to come. <laughs> so it's the next day now, Thursday the 30th. Um, we were doing formula. And we kind of discovered last night that the formula we were giving him was giving him gas and not making him feel good. Because, um, yeah, last night he did not want to sleep. Every few hours we'd still feed him, but then he wasn't burping as well or having as much bowel movement. Um, and then eventually one of the nurses was like, try the gentle ease formula. Once, I mean, we still had to wait a bit. Um, he finally did like go to the bathroom some more and spit up and burp some stuff but he just every single time we put him down he would cry and get really fussy unless we were holding him finally then when it was time for his next feeding and he got hungry again like at i think it was seven or almost seven a.m no yeah i think it was seven um we gave him the other formula he didn't drink as much of it but after he had it burped a bit and then was out and it's now 8.55 so he's actually slept we slept for a few hours we just got woken up by one of the nurses um we are going to be getting discharged later once the doctors come by so waiting on my breakfast and tim is getting some breakfast for himself and yeah this little guy's still sleeping thankfully other than that he was pretty good 
with his sleeping and everything. It's just, I'm guessing because now he's drinking way more of it. Yeah, I just heard his tummy make some a little more noises. I'm sure it takes a while to fully clear up from before, but he seems happy now. I'm just glad that that happened while we were still here, so then like they could look at him because um well they actually at some point came to take him to do some more tests in the morning i think it was like around four maybe in the morning four or five and then like we told him what was going on and yeah you know they saw it was just gas and everything but it was nice because it's like if this would have already been at home we wouldn't have had other formula samples to try so hopefully that's just what it was it seems like like I said, he was fine with the other formula, so at least now we learned that before we went home. We're gonna be getting discharged soon. He's gonna be going out in that big, big, scary world. He's asleep right now. Put him in this little romper my friend got us. Um, it has a turtle on it and a turtle in the back. She knows how we are obsessed with turtles, as we've got a pet turtle. Here comes Tim back in with the car seat as we're getting ready. I gotta go get some more of my stuff. So we got him in his little outfit. He's all ready. Now we just gotta call the nurse. Feels nice to be in regular clothes again too. And yeah, so. The epic journey begins. Yep. Guess what? He's in the car. He's gonna be going home. He is fast asleep, which I'm glad because I didn't know how he would be. This is all new to us. He's doing very good on his little drive. Just went to see my parents. They just came out and saw him in the car. Now we're gonna be going home. But yeah, he's just sleeping through the whole thing. There they are. He seems to enjoy being home. Rest and setting everything up. Things are still a mess. But yes, welcome home, little guy. Can't wait until you're older one day and you can watch this video and see your sleeping self. Goodbye.